for the person in a go who does have 200 minutes a, a week to to exercise to cardiovascular exercise what does that split look like zone two versus you know high intensity work and back to to my earlier question we kind of went down a different path for a bit there but is would it be more optimal to have high intensity and lo- and sort of moderate intensity in the same session or in different sessions i think it's definitely possible to mix it up and i i mix it up all the time myself right i every ride i do like a few bursts of high intensity and it works well and also you feel the stamina right of the high intensity which is important to to do and also you have the benefits that possibly high intensity exercise it stimulates the cardiorespiratory adaptations to exercise better than lower intensity right so i think it's getting the, the the both of the best of both worlds but the way i would i would do i try to shoot for 200 to 300 minutes i think that I mean, 300 is ideal minutes per week. I know it's a lot in, in our society and most people can't do it. I even struggle to, to have many weeks, uh, 250, but I try to do that. But, you know, I try to do like a three to four days a week. I like the biking, you know, uh, and then I do uh, about zone two, the beginning, maybe halfway through, I do like a burst, but not very high, but maybe towards the end, I do another burst. And that, that's what I try to stimulate both mitochondrial function and glycolytic function as well, without the necessity of like uh, just doing only zone two or only high intensity, right? Uh, and it depends on the terrain, depends on where you live, right? If you live in a flat area or you go to the gym, yeah, you can do very just uh, steady, steady. If you live in an area with very mountainous terrain, you know, it's going to be very difficult to to stay steady always, right? So those little bursts that you do. Are like five to ten minutes in in duration, or what does what does a burst look like? So I mean, I like to do like one zone four. I don't like to go over zone four and get to like near V two max because I don't, I don't find that you know, at my age and my level, I don't find it pleasant. Many other people find it really pleasant, and that's what they want. I'm just happy to have like that burst where like whew, I have to work hard, but without feeling the pain, <laughs> if you will, right? But that's my my own option, like other people. Right, but many others they prefer the high intensity. But yeah, I, I think that burst can be in the form of like a zone four, zone five, maybe some sprinting. Those are great because you're going to stimulate that like those glycolytic enzymes or those MCT fours transporters, and it's going to be great for your muscle health in general. Right, you have a more robust. Why just focusing on one system when you have can have a robust systems? But that being said, right, that that high intensity, you just you just need to touch it. And just touch it, you're going to improve it, right? Well, you need to spend more time, and and we still don't know why. But I, this is from my experience. You, you need to spend more time in the zone two area to improve there. Is it possible to stress the mitochondria and have healthy mitochondria and have good lactate clearance just doing resistance training? That's a great question, which I forgot to to mention. Right? That obviously, resistance training is there's tons of scientific evidence obviously you know it's just i'm not even talking about it because we're focusing more on the metabolic aspect right but resistance is very important at least two days a week right and i think we need more research i don't have all the the answers of course what i've seen at least is my empirical experience that i've seen more and more people with uh, you know like poor metabolic function that more that the person you know who just goes to the weight room and doesn't do more metabolic or cardiovascular training. They look inside mitochondria when you do myopsy or when you do indirect tests of mitochondrial function, they look more like the sedentary individual than they would look more than the uh, morally healthy, more morally active individual. Those ones who just do weights, right? Now, if you look at muscle biopsy, they will have mitochondria, right? Everywhere there's muscle, there's gonna be mitochondria, especially if there's lean muscle, right? But again, we will go back to the function. And the function, I haven't seen that is it can do much. I might be wrong. That's what I've seen for many years. You know, other researchers might, might, might see otherwise, but that's at least my, my experience. Well, that would be another, another argument for not judging a book by its cover. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I was surprised at the, at the clinic at the university where I started to see several patients who were very bulky, they did all the resistance and they, they had a metabolic syndrome. 
And I, oh man, I couldn't, I couldn't understand why I was seeing more of them. Again, I don't have the, the, the quite answers and the questions, but I think that you need in the same manner that if you, you know, to be healthy, it's not enough with just cardiovascular training. You need to do some resistance. I don't think that doing just resistance training, you need to do also a metabolic training. When it comes to gut health, I couldn't find a supplement that did it all. So I formulated one with gastroenterologist, Dr. Will Bolsowitz. It's called Daily Microbiome Nutrition or DMN by 38 Terra. And to our knowledge, it is the most complete prebiotic formula on the market today. We built DMN to support a healthy, diverse microbiome, which we now know plays a critical role in everything from digestion to immunity, metabolism, and even brain health. What sets DMN apart is that it contains clinically proven doses of ingredients like actazine and solanol, and it's a very concentrated source of polyphenols, all conveniently combined to nourish your gut bacteria and promote true microbial diversity. No artificial sweeteners, no gums or fillers, just science-backed, plant-based ingredients in a once a day, incredibly delicious drink. So if you're looking to fuel your microbes and enjoy all the benefits that come with that, head to 38terra.com and use the code SIMON for 10% off. That's 38tera.com and use the code SIMON to feed those gut bugs. 